Welcome to the underworld. Wow. How have I never heard of this place? Persephone keeps it a secret. While still managing to draw a crowd every night, don't ask me how. Here in the underworld, idols can be themselves. Even if they don't look human. Do you come here often? Oh, no. No, no. Uh, Persephone and I aren't uh, friends. Is she friends with anyone? No, many. No. Except Calliope, apparently. If we're to find Persephone in all this, we'll need to split up. Have you considered what you'll say to her? Not really. What do you suggest? Well, if I know Persephone, and I do, she won't be up for a chat. You need to be prepared to use your powers, as you did with me. Come find me in the crown if you need anything. Otherwise, be careful, Grace. you gotta be somewhere but you're here hello Hermes <laughs> sorry about running off on you back at the thing didn't really have a choice but eh, sorry anyway you're not much like the other idols are you no I haven't been an idol very long maybe like a year I've lost track so I'm not the one to ask about the idol stuff it's all cool but Mostly, I do whatever Athena asks. Athena says, one day I'll sit on the chorus. <laughs> That'll be sick. Can you imagine me in charge? Uh... Wouldn't Athena still be in charge? Yeah, you're probably right. That doesn't bother you? Why would it? Athena's the nicest of the bunch. She makes the best cookies. When Calliope died, you were right there, within moments. How did you know? I told you, I got word, so I came. But how did you get word? Look, when an idol dies, I have to be there. So I just know, it's a Hermes thing. Mm. But why do you need to be there? To take them where they need to go. To take who, Calliope? Kinda, look. It's between the old Hermes and me, and between me and the next Hermes. That's all I can say. You've only been an idol for a year? How did that happen? Mm, probably the same way it did with you. Oh, the old Hermes died in your arms, and then they accused you of his murder? No. Well, yes. I mean, no, not like that. But yeah. I was there when he died. We were friends, and I was having trouble at home, and he helped me out. I miss him. Hmm. Why do you call yourself Hermes? I mean, I don't call myself Calliope. You might eventually. Uh, I doubt it. Most idols do. Not everyone, though, so I don't know, maybe not you. <laughs> okay. This is probably a stupid question, but... Do you know who might have killed Calliope? Oh, why would I know anything about that? When you came to... <sighs> To the apartment, it seemed like you knew her. Oh no, I only met her once. She didn't live with the rest of the idols or hang out with us very much. She seemed nice though. Angry, maybe. But I don't know who'd want to hurt her. It sounds as if she didn't much like the idols. It was more like how you can't stand your family sometimes, even if you still love them. Do you know if Persephone is here? I need to talk to her. <laughs> oh, you're serious. Why would you want to talk to Persephone? Nobody ever wants that. One time, I laughed too loud near her, and she threatened to ban me from the club. I don't want to be banned. I like it here. 
Okay. Is Persephone really that bad? Why do the idols put up with her? We're like family, and Persephone is that really mean aunt that nobody wants to invite. I uh, don't tell her I said that. She keeps a list. It's a thing. Okay, okay, forget I asked. Whew! Man, just the thought of talking to Persephone gives me goosebumps. Blech. I'll see you around. If you die, then for sure. But, uh, don't die. We have also met Pan, but we haven't met Eros yet. As I live and breathe, if it isn't our dear muse. Hi, Pam. Tell me, have you decided to leave your troubles behind and join us in the land of shadows and revelry? I'm guessing it's a total coincidence that I'm running into you here. It must be. The alternative would be that I knew a great many things ahead of time. Well, did you? Do I look like an oracle? I am here to listen to thrilling music and meet delicious people. My tastes are simple. Fair uh -huh. enough. Good man. Speaking of simple tastes, my glass is empty again. The service here is appalling. I should thank you for the address. It's what led me here. No need to thank me. You'll owe me. Remember, how you managed to stir the sun god from his oh-so-tiresome gloom, I cannot imagine. Nicely done. Hmm. I like him. It took some convincing, but at least he's helping me without asking anything in return. Oof. Truly, how do you function with such naivete? Do you know something I don't? Yes. I'm sorry, was that in question? I assume you're a regular at this club? And why would you assume that, dear Grace? <laughs> the horns, the... you... Do you know Persephone well? There is no knowing Persephone well. She won't have it. Not anymore. Oh. Not anymore? Long ago, we were all very different. Over the span of ages, however, even mountains erode. Interesting. The things you say, the things you don't say, you don't make yourself seem trustworthy, you know that? Trust is for the weak and the penniless. Still not helping. <laughs> Why, Grace, are you assuming that I, Pan, am some sort of scoundrel? Uh, uh. Uh. I don't think he's the murderer. It's more that I'm stating it outright. Rejected twice in a row. How will I ever recover from such insult, I ask you? Uh-huh. I don't know what to tell you, Grace. Even an idol needs to get by. You must know why I'm here, right? Let me guess. You seek our sweet-natured proprietress. Can you help me find her? <laughs> Earlier I wasn't good enough, but now, now... Oh, wait a minute. I, I accepted your help is. earlier, sir. By all means. I'd love to tell Persephone that the source of her rage has intruded on her domain. Don't tell me that Big Bad Pan is afraid. Seeing as I am neither big nor truly bad, it behooves me to be wary of those who are both. That's yeah. awfully sensible for you. You barely know me my little dumpling. But if I am anything, I am a survivor. Ugh, suit yourself. I like Pan. I'll find another I like way. Pan a lot. It's for the best. His song was was my really best, good. At any rate. I should get going. I'm sure I'll see you soon. 
One can only hope. Okay. Why is he in bondage? <laughs> I get. Yeah, I guess because he's the god of love, uh, Eros. Oh. Hey. You're the new muse, aren't you? Um, I guess I am, yeah. Aphrodite mentioned it. Didn't figure I'd see you here, though. Oh, excuse the manners. Name's Eros. God, God of, of sex. sex. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Wait, did you, did you say that you, just, you're the God of sex? Desire, really. Sensuality. Attraction. <laughs> Why? We're expecting a chubby little flying baby with a bow and arrow. Uh, I, I wasn't... I actually preferred Cupid, but Pan had to be the trickster. Spread all those stupid stories. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? It's not your fault. Just another grudge I get to carry around forever. Oh? You know Aphrodite, right? I only met her the once. <laughs> sure, she's my mother. You know how it is. How would I know? New here, remember? Oh, right, right. Yeah, sorry. I <laughs> wasn't thinking. But you hear a lot of idols talk about each other like that. You know, mother, brother, sister, grandfather. None of us are actually related. We just played a family for so many centuries. It may as well be true. Hmm. That's a little bit sad. So Aphrodite is your mother, but not really that's right a long time ago she took care of me when i needed taken care of the mortals they just assumed these days well it's not like that anymore we're not as invulnerable as we used to be least of all aphrodite <laughs> the god of sex at a club looking for someone Hmm, once I might have, sure. Now I'm just here to see it happen. See what happen? Look out there. See all these people. The hope, the anticipation, the connections, they bounce off each other. <laughs> to me, it's like lightning. Mm hmm And you enjoy that? I used to make it happen, you know. Mortals once begged me to make it happen, to inspire true love. But now, now I only inspire sex. Not the same thing. It's just as well. People should find true love the hard way. They'll value it more. Hot take. You seem a little distracted. Is everything okay? <laughs> of course it is. Sure. Hmm, not obvious, huh? Truth is... I don't come here that often. No, it's hard to get away. I just want... Nope. Never mind. I'm willing to listen if you need to talk. I appreciate that. Maybe some other time. Hmm. Here's the thing. I'm looking for Persephone, but I can't find her anywhere. Hmm. Well, I know where she is, but... I question whether she'd be happy to see you. Look, I like you, but Mother told me what happened at the chorus. I don't want to cause trouble with Persephone. What if I could guarantee that there wouldn't be a problem? Aha. Uh -huh. How could you guarantee that? First, I'd reassure you that I'm here to work things out with Persephone. I don't want to fight. Second, if that didn't pan out, I'd tell her I lied to you. Making me the idiot who fell for it. Oh, I don't know. I can be tricksy. <laughs> okay. Fine. When you're ready to see her, you let me know, and I'll take you. Deal? Oh, Deal. this is good. I get a chance to talk to Apollo before I can go to Persephone. I thought this would be easier. But it's as if Persephone left instructions to thwart me. Every staff member I approach screams and runs off. I hope your search has been more successful. You don't come here often, I'm guessing? Never. 
I'm sure Persephone only sent the membership as a formality. I doubt she thought I'd ever use it. Don't you ever have fun? No drinking or dancing in Apollo land? Once. When I had the muses to keep me company. Ooh. Do we romance him? I'm amused now. I can keep you company. Nothing would make me happier. But you do have a predicament to solve first. It might help if I knew more about Persephone. It couldn't hurt. What would you like to know exactly? My Greek mythology is a little rusty, but isn't Persephone the one who was kidnapped? Oh, you know about that. What else do you know? Just that Persephone was a sweet girl, and Hades, Lord of the Underworld, swept her off to the land of the dead. Hmm. Without so much as a by your leave, yes. Mm -hmm. Her mother, Demeter, was so enraged, she blanketed the world in ice, rendering it barren and infertile. Zeus was forced to act. He decreed that Persephone would be shared between Demeter and Hades, and thus the matter was resolved. Well, you asked. That's her story, as the mortals tell it. So tell me, how much of Persephone's legend is true? Well, let's see. Um, Hades did kidnap Persephone. That certainly did happen. The idols almost went to war over it until Zeus intervened and ordered Hades and Persephone to wed. That uh, quieted things. At least until Persephone killed Hades. Whoa. As I understand it, Hades was not kind to her. I'd like to say we handled it well. That Zeus and the idols were mindful of what Persephone had been through, but that would be a lie. Persephone was Yikes. punished <laughs> for the murder. The underworld taken from her. And we all stood by and let it happen. She has never forgiven us. And honestly, I can't blame her. If I were her, I'd be mad at you all, too. Then you understand why things are difficult between us. Wait, Persephone killed another idol. Oh, long time ago, yeah. What about all of Athena's rules? Wouldn't Persephone have been, I don't know. Executed? The murder of Hades is probably why we now have that rule. Ah. Back then, we heard Persephone had usurped Hades' throne, but we couldn't believe it. It just wasn't done. Now, of course, I look back and think we should have seen it coming. Oh, the benefit of hindsight. Why didn't you see it coming? You're the god of prophecy. When I look, I learned long ago not to. So what happened to Persephone after... The murder? She survived, like the rest of us. She got older, and when we came to the new world, I think she would have left us if it was allowed. It isn't, so instead she did as she pleased. She started a cult, became a crime boss. A crime boss? A uh, what? It was after her last transition, but honestly, <laughs> I have no insight into anything Persephone does these days. I thought she was just mad at me, but everyone seems afraid of Persephone. Ah, uh, noticed that, did you? Persephone is angry with everyone, and has been for a very long time. I've told you why. But it's more than that. She does not let go of a grudge. Mm. A thousand years could pass, and Persephone will remember what you did like it was yesterday. I found someone who will bring me to Persephone. Finally! 
I'll be right behind you. You're coming with me? But I thought... She seems even angrier with you than she is with me. I... I might be able to mediate. <sighs> we'll see, I guess. Ooh. If you're angry with anyone, Persephone, be angry with me. It was I who... I will deal with you later. I was willing to leave you be, Grace. To wait until your guilt was certain. And yet here you are, in my domain, uninvited. Why? Are you here to beg for mercy? Are you here to challenge me? Should I be afraid? I'm not trying to start a fight. Far from it. I came here hoping you could help me. Help you? <laughs> Perhaps you could help me instead. I'd like to understand a few things. Do you really expect us to believe that Calliope chose you? What's the real story? Did you stumble across her as she lay dying and desperate? Are you an accident? Did you learn what she was? Did you torture her, hold her at the point of death until she agreed to hand over her Eidolon? Persephone, this isn't... You have every reason to try to prove your innocence, Grace. But I have no reason to help you. Now would be a good time to mediate, Apollo. Is that why you're here, brother? Because you know me so well? Because I know that you care. Far more deeply than you could ever admit. How would you know that? You resigned. You abandoned everything and everyone who ever needed you. Oof. You don't know the first thing about me. And you never did. Just crawl back into your dark little hole, Apollo. You knew Calliope. We all knew Calliope. She was staying at your apartment. You knew her. Better than I or anyone else suspected. Are you implying that I had something to do with her death? Prove you didn't. That's how idols work, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> you hear that? You're in my house, little muse. You want answers? Fight for them. Mm. A lost little girl. You shouldn't have come here. And I sure ain't in the mood to make new friends. Go home, little girl. The shadows draw near. And you all alone, we both know how this ends. Let's see how far she bends. We all know how this ends. Guess I'm this evening's sacrifice. But I'll see what I can do. You deserve a good show. Big hand for your usual MC. She's planned a brutal takedown just for me. Oh, this is cute. Hopefully, I'll last a couple rounds. You deserve a good show. I won't let you down. My, my, we caught a butterfly. Such a delicate thing. Mm -hmm. What a find. I hope she doesn't mind when we pull off her wings. Maybe you don't know who I am. Maybe you don't know who I am. Why would I come here to start a brawl? I'm just running out of time, is all. 
it's true that I'm just lost and small. Why are you keeping your guard up? Oh man, you stole that from Pan. What a real renegade. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. That's not your copy. You didn't pay. If your name's on the door, see you don't. Oh. Evidently, they love me. I should play a residency. Take care. Oh my god. See, I'm making new friends and I'm just warming up. Hope the backstage is big because it's gonna erupt. No threat. You're already dead. We haven't fun yet. Yeah, I can't complain. Sorry, Seth. Were you talking about yourself again? Time to put an end to the sham. Seems like you want to see firsthand who I really am. Hmm. Acquire the dead, that's it, Aunt Dear. Old dogs, old tricks, ghosts appear. I got a real live choir right here. Wanna hear? Oh. No. No, you've earned your answers. Calliope came to me years ago. She'd grown tired of arguing with the idols, tired of being branded a troublemaker. She couldn't watch the idols wither away without a fight. I knew how she felt. So I gave her the apartment. Mm -hmm. That's it? No fights? No conflict of any kind? Why would there be? Because you're you, Persephone. <laughs> no. Not recently. Calliope and I haven't spoken for at least two years. After I heard the news, I went to the apartment and turned it upside down. I had to know the truth. Mm. That was you? I didn't find anything. Nothing to say what she had been involved with, or, or gotten into, or who she might have been fighting with. That means one of two things. Either whatever happened to her was sudden, or it was secret. I suppose you're right. Calliope was never one to keep secrets. And she was doing something everyone knew about it. None of you were talking to her. Who would she tell? You're clever. Maybe there's a chance Calliope chose you after all. If it wasn't Grace, that means someone else was behind Calliope's death. Someone who could keep their involvement hidden. Mm. One of us. Does it have to be an idol? You thought I killed Calliope. Couldn't it have been some other mortal? Despite how we might look, it's not a simple matter to kill an idol. 
It was difficult enough to believe you had done it. If another mortal killed her, they somehow escaped detection. We found nothing, no evidence of a battle. You looked? Of course we looked. What do you think was happening while you waited? If Calliope was attacked elsewhere, even magic revealed no trace of it. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say magic? You can battle me through a song in a world of your own creation. And yet magic is beyond belief? That's fair. Well, <laughs> sure, I just thought... We have our powers just as you have yours. I can grow a field of corn like nobody's business. Some would say our powers are also magic, but... True magic is a different and older power. Hecate's domain. And it was of no use here. We shouldn't rule it out. We haven't tried everything yet. Did Calliope have any enemies? The way you talk about her, she must have. Hmm. What? What am I missing? Well, Calliope had a way of making people angry. She could be... argumentative. Yes, yeah. but enough to make enemies who wanted her dead? Not that you or I know of, apparently, but that doesn't mean they didn't exist. What about Athena? She seemed awfully insistent on declaring me guilty, don't you think? Athena? <laughs> no, Athena follows the rules. Well... Athena has one goal, and one goal only. To protect the idols. And that included Calliope. Okay. She'll eventually drive us all mad with her vigilance, but break her own rules? I don't see it. What about Pan? He showed up at my place out of nowhere, right after I left the chorus. He did what? I have to wonder what his angle is. He has one, that's for certain. Though I've never thought of him as a killer. It would be too... messy. Still, we should consider the idea. For him to show up so quickly is... odd. For all I know, either one of you could have done it and you're just playing along. Apollo is capable of many things, but lying? Eh, he was never any good at it. Fair enough. Whereas we know how capable you are of murder. Okay, um, hey, this is the one and only god I killed. Deserved it. Yeah, you know, right. I agree with right. that. Sorry, I brought it up. <clears throat> Couldn't we go to Athena with this? If you've changed your minds and you're both part of the chorus... Athena would be sympathetic, but... The die has been cast. She won't go back on the edict, not without clear evidence. Oh, now you want evidence? She acted on the information she had. If we want to sway her, we need something better. Mm. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know the idols. Don't you have any ideas? I told you I wouldn't be of much help, Grace. Did you now? Mm. That's unsurprising. When are you ever of help to anyone but yourself? Says Rude. the woman who forced Grace to challenge her rather than answer a simple question. Calliope died, Apollo. Calliope, who came with us all the way from the old world. You think I don't know that? Are you forgetting what the muses meant to me? Stop it! Stop fighting! Is this what the idols are like? You just what? Live forever and never get over anything? Are we about to Super. get another song? Becoming a god was such a gift. Wow. We are. Yay! Calliope, I'm listening now. Tell us what and you would do. Unmatched and you strike that consumed you. Oh, the violin. How could you blame her? What could she have done to earn such a fate? Oh. You are blinded. God of the sun hides from his own eyes. What would you know about fate? You say that you knew her. She was family to us, yet you 
don't hesitate to accuse her. Oh, queen without a throne, go bitter with fury. Not everyone seeks to betray you. Stop this. Please remember what we are here to do. We must avenge a muse. Apollo, your help is not needed here. Go ahead and abandon another muse. Ooh. How could you throw that gauntlet at me? Could your heart shrivel any further? You abandoned me to a, a terrible, terrible fate. fate. You replay your injuries it's till it's too late. late. You know how far I've been before I, I snapped. This, this is, is not about you. you. Enough! This helps no one. There he is, God of the Sun. Take a deep breath. I need your help, not your anger. Oh, these old wounds, they confine you. You're more than your pain. She abandoned us. Follow him or stay. She's gonna be more now that Apollo isn't sucking all the oxygen out of the room, perhaps we can get somewhere. Was all that really necessary? His reaction wasn't great, but you did provoke him. It wasn't my finest moment, but you saw how he transformed. Apollo likes to pretend he's not the man he used to be, but behind that sad facade lurks exactly the lout I remember. I'll admit, the problem you present is a sticky one. If an idol is behind Calliope's death, they're clever. I need time to formulate a plan. I have to ask, is Athena really not an option? She wouldn't see what you see? At all? She might. Athena's no fool. She sees everything in terms of risk. Anything with the slightest chance of being a danger to the idols will not be tolerated. Maybe whoever's behind this knows that, and is counting on it. To what end? To ensure the death of a hapless mortal girl? To ensure that whoever became the next muse won't survive. I can't imagine why anyone would want to eradicate the power of the last muse. Still, it's worth considering. You've decided to help me, then? I wasn't sure you would. I've already admitted that Calliope might actually have chosen you. Don't push your luck. Oh, I didn't mean... You have fight in you. You've taken quickly to the Muse's powers. It's possible that she saw the potential. So yes, I'll help you. If, however, this has all been a desperate deception... Mm. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. No, we're not going to romance What should I do while you're She's formulating? I don't like sitting on my hands. Yeah, I've noticed. If you wish to keep busy, burn down the city. Start a revolution. Become a terror the likes of which mortals only dream. Um, really? No, Grace. Go home. Be patient. When you see me next, I'll have a better idea of what to do. Ooh, okay. Hey, Freddy. Have... Have you been waiting up this whole time? Uh, uh yeah? A goat man sends you off into the night. Your life is on the line. And I'm gonna, what, sleep? What if you were taken prisoner, kept in a cave by a cyclops, or I don't know, turned into a tree? I was worried sick. Mm. You don't need to worry so much. It hasn't been that bad so far. Kinda. I made some friends. What? You mean like, god-type friends? Ones who aren't half-goat? I <laughs> met Apollo. <laughs> 
am Persephone. I faced off with her. What? No way. Okay, all right. You, you have to tell me everything that happened. Huh. Persephone runs a club called the Underworld. That's a little on the nose. I wouldn't suggest saying that to her face. And you ended up staying with her instead of Apollo? I don't know, Grace. She sounds a little volatile. She has her reasons. I just hope I don't end up on her bad side again. You'll figure your way out of it. You're still you. I am still me. That's true. So what are your options? You need to go back to Persephone at some point? I could go back to Apollo's as well. Make sure he's not sore about what happened. Oh, and, yeah. uh, there's this. Pan left a card, says, come by Olympus. <laughs> I doubt he means the mountain in Greece. Mm -hmm. Huh. I just spoke to him at the Underworld. If he wanted something, why didn't he just talk to me there? Because he's creepy and wants to get you alone? Mm. Still not a fan? You know how some people just set your teeth on edge? That's Pan. I can't help it. Fair. But it doesn't matter. I said I'd help, and that's what I'll do. You can count on me, Grace. Thanks, Freddy. The muse? Oh, the embodiment of inspiration. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, kinda. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do this first. And hopefully talk to Pan after. Uh, Grace? Yeah, told you she'd be back. What are you doing here? When you stayed with Persephone, I thought that... Well, I didn't expect to see you again. I thought I'd check in on you. The way you left, well, it was quite the scene. Ah, yes, that. I want to apologize for my outburst. Being around my family brings out the worst in me, I'm afraid. Mm. It's why I avoid them whenever possible and why I should have resisted getting dragged into all this. Oh, oof. For what it's worth, I'm sorry I dragged you into it. It was my choice. I did what I could, though I may indeed have made things worse. You haven't. Even if you had, isn't now the time to fix it? Mm. Goodbye, Grace. I hope you find what you're looking for. Wow. I'd say hello, Grace, but I'm afraid that look on your face might be catching. I just... What is this place? It's a garden, darling. Surely even mortals have them. This building. All those people I pass getting up here. Are they all idols? Oh, at least some of them. Welcome to Olympus, dear Grace. Our home hidden away in plain sight. Marvelous, isn't it? How many idols are there? I've met, what, less than 12? Oh, I don't know, 20, 30. Our numbers have dwindled so much I've stopped keeping track. I didn't know there were that many gods. We're not all equally legendary, it's true. Some idols were barely worshiped, others not at all. Indeed, not all of us are idols. Some are merely immortal. Hangers on, if you will. You'll meet them all given time. Idols live here? I mean, Calliope didn't, obviously. Apollo doesn't either. One must have special dispensation from Our Lady of Wisdom, Athena, before they can take up a private dung heap like Apollo's. Uh, Am I gonna have to give him my apartment? Fair, fair and accurate. <laughs> That's rather putting the cart before the horse, darling. First, you must outlive the weak. Right. Good point. I've passed this part of the city a hundred times. I've never seen this building. Was it always here, or...? Our Lady Hecate provides glamours that allow certain things to go unseen. 
such as my glorious horns. Mm -hmm. Olympus is the same. Those invited see it. Those who aren't see exactly what they expect. It's not anywhere as grand as in the old country, but it, it serves its purpose. Interesting. I don't know, Pan. Olympus seems pretty grand to me. As if mortals would know any better. This isn't the first time you've been here. I'm sure Hermes took you to Athena's dreary office. Uh, that's here? Huh. Good one, that Hermes. Almost as dull-witted as the original, but biddable. <laughs> you asked me to meet you here? Mm. I did, I did. Though I feared you might decline, considering your rather callous rejection earlier. Bro. Regardless, my pride is intact, as is the favor you owe me, which I now wish to collect. Oh, sure. I'm totally in a position to help others right now. Lay it on me. Here's the thing. A friend has begged for my help, and you're far better suited than I to offer what he requires. I'll give you a key to reach the reliquary where he resides. You help him, and then we're even. If that's not <gasps> enough incentive, the reliquary is also where you'll find the lovely Ooh. Hecate. A sorceress of her power could aid your quest. What do you say? Yeah, it's worth it. This Hecate, do you think she could help me? If she's of a mind. She is the goddess of dark magic, the creator of all our marvelous glamours. If anyone can help you, it is she. And if she's not of a mind? Then she won't help you. Grace, that part is up to you. I can't be expected to do everything, can I? Hmm. What is this reliquary? Doesn't that have something to do with the bones of saints or something? <laughs> Not those relics. Our relics. The relics of ancient gods. Magical treasures collected over thousands of years. Mm -hmm. Books, mainly. We store them in a faraway place so no one unsavory can get their hands on them. Unsavory like you? Unsavory like <laughs> most. <laughs> Athena has decreed that these relics are not to be used by any save Hecate and herself. A rather dull waste of so much amassed knowledge and power, but who am I to judge? I'm not leader of the chorus. If these relics are off limits, does that mean they're dangerous? Some. But I'm not asking you to chase after any of that nonsense. In fact, I'd advise against it. But what if one of those relics could help me? <laughs> Stray Gods is my, the version my, where such you do the relics, you are. but Hades is the version it's possible, where you do. But ask Hecate first. She, and I mean this with complete and uncharacteristic seriousness, is not an idol you or anyone wishes to cross. This person I'm to help. What does he want? And why can't you do it? Well, Grace, there are some things you're better equipped to handle than I. Interesting. This, as I understand it, is a delicate matter of the heart. One that requires a muse's hand. Mm. A matter of the heart? What, did you think I was sending you to rough someone up? Set something aflame? Don't be absurd. The man has an issue with his love life. Even if you can't help him, I'll treat the effort is as it, worth the is favor. It arrows? So that's it? Fix up someone's love life? Nothing trickier than that? Oh, the way you talk, Grace. It makes me blush. Well, it's just that- I trade in willing favors, Grace. If I didn't, no one would want to do as I ask, and then where would I be? I may seem untrustworthy, but allow me to reassure you. If I wish you harm, you will walk into that harm knowingly and with open arms. What about Calliope? Did she walk into harm knowingly and with open arms? You tell me. I could deny it, of course, but if you choose not to believe anything I say, What's the point of asking the question? I'll think about it, but no promises. Marvelous. 
The gentleman you seek is named Asterian. Oh, no. Lovely fellow, quite harmless. <laughs> I'll send a package to your domicile that contains directions and the key you'll need to reach the reliquary. Okay. Send no promises. Well, if you decide to go, Grace, you'll still need all those things. Say hello to darling Hecate on my behalf, will you? Bold of you to assume that I'm going, Pan. I am, but bold of you to assume. Oh, Frankie came with? When I opened that shipping container, I was expecting, I don't know, rats. Uh, yeah. Instead we have- Or Freddy, not Frankie. Oops. <sighs> Where the hell are we? It's hard to say. Weren't we going to some kind of library? That's how Pan described it. He said it was a, um, what's the word? A reliquary? That is where relics are kept, like magic items, like when we played D&D. &D. This is nothing like D&D. &D. Well, I don't know about you, Grace, but if a dragon came flying out of that mist, I would not be the least bit surprised. Yeah, agree. <laughs> you are such a nerd. <laughs> Speaking of, how much do you actually know about Hecate and this idol you're supposed to help? The idol we're here to help is named Asterion. And you know who that is, right? No. Nope. Should I? <laughs> That's the Minotaur's real name. You know, big bullhead, horns, lives in a giant oh. labyrinth. <sighs> oh. Pan did not mention that. Why am I not surprised? This Minotaur. Y you don't think he might be dangerous, do you? Well, traditionally he eats people, but he was also supposed to have been slain by the hero Theseus. Well, not so slain after all. Pan says he has a problem with his love life. Hmm. Maybe he needs to stop eating all his girlfriends? Hmm. Okay, I knew that sounded wrong the moment I said it. Yeah. Do you know anything about this Hecate? It's not a name that rings bells. It, it is see. for me, Well, she but... was the goddess of witchcraft, the really duck kind. Oh. But she's never really portrayed as evil. She was more of an outsider, lived alone, off in our little corner of the underworld. <gasps> Do you think that's where we could be? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I bet knowledge is important to her. It could be an angle if you talk to her. That sounds good, yeah. Hey, Hecate, I love your library. So much knowledge. Wow. She that says, was so knowing full well, she's the smartest person I've ever met. If I'm so smart, how am I in this predicament? It's not a predicament, Grace. It's an adventure. <sighs> we should go inside instead of standing out here in the fog. True. It's more of a mist, really. A mist Ready? potentially full of monsters. Ready? In we go, then. Are you really planning on doing that favor for Pan? Yeah. Honestly, the reliquary is what I'm really interested in. Ooh, a plan C. Go on. There has to We're be some clever, magical so we relic that could help me out. The trick will be finding it and getting my hands on it. Mm, that will be a trick, yeah. I love your plans. Hey, yo. Giant woman. Insert giant woman here. All I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman, a giant woman. All I want to be is someone who gets to see a giant woman. I guess the Titan thing is literal, huh? Mortals within the reliquary. Who permits this intrusion, this sacrilege? This Man. knowledge is not meant for the likes of you. I shall grind you into the dust from whence you came! But I'm not mortal! Wow, does that sound weird coming out of my mouth. You, perhaps, but the one with you? Mortals cannot learn of the knowledge kept here. Not ever! Freddy's not just any mortal. She's special. And she already knows about the idols. We have been revealed. We are undone! 
What? No! No, not undone! I swear, I can go, if you want. I will... <laughs> I'm not gonna tell a soul. It's enough that I even got to see this place. It is so amazing. It's like... Like the Great Library of Alexandria. Wow, she which, is Which, you know, was destroyed, and one of the greatest tragedies of human history. I have created this sanctuary at great cost. Knowledge is fragile and must be respected. If you want someone who respects knowledge, Freddy is definitely your gal. <laughs> Hecate? Me, Freddy. Music lover, writer of lyrics, reader of so many books, I doubt she even knows how many. Hi. <laughs> Big fan. Ah, mortal. You wish to see more. I can see the fire burning in your eyes. <gasps> Could I? Oh my god, you have no idea. Ever since Grace told me about this place, I have been dying to see it with my own eyes. Seriously. Like, is that a spiral staircase over there? Can I climb that thing? Do you have, like, do you have, like, those ladders that, like, slide around and, like, help you go higher? Because I would love to just, like, stand on those. It's, like, my dream. I like, have dreams about it, and I, it's, like, my favorite thing to even just dream about. Just books in general. You know what? I relate to Freddy. No, you cannot be Grace. Uh, sure am. Then Calliope is dead. Is that now? I thought that was not for another 11 months yet. Oh. Wait, what? You knew Calliope was going to die? No, I am not informed of this for another 11 months and 3 days. Or I could just tell you now? That cannot be. It is written. Huh? Uh, yes, it's right here. Calliope joins Grace's band. They become oh. friends. Months later, there is an automobile accident and... An accident? No, that's not what happened. Are you saying the books are wrong? Yeah. Guess I'm not the only one with a problem. But this cannot be. The sooner you accept that someone, somehow, screwed up your magic books, the sooner we can get on to figuring out what happened. Uh-oh. You will explain. We will both sit, and you will explain. There will be tea. I like her. <laughs> this book you speak of, she goes back in time to meet a Scotsman lover who exists in the past? Oh yeah, several times. It's... Pretty awesome. You really don't have it? Mortal printing has outpaced my capacity, I fear. I must focus my efforts on a select portion of- Look, I, I hate to interrupt girl talk, but y you said we have a problem? Indeed. From what you have described, something outside the realm of fate has occurred. Uh, is that even possible? It is, but I must follow the threads back to their source to find the origin of the deviation. It may take years of research. Years? I don't have years. That is unfortunate. If there is nothing else, I must ask you both to leave so I may begin at once. Um... Is there no way to speed that up? Whoever's behind it might be the murderer. Such threads are not so easily untangled. I must consult the Moirai, if indeed they are not the ones responsible. The Moirai? The, the Moirai what? You might know them as the Fates. Uh, uh, uh -huh. They, or any beings of a sufficiently cosmic nature, have the power to undo the order of things. That does not sound good. Certainly not. They are also not beings I can summon at a whim to solve your mystery. I am sorry. Wait a minute, so... The Morai equals the Morai. That's insane. Actually, I came here to speak to Asterion. If, uh, he is here. A visitor for Asterion? How strange. Oh boy. Oh, uh, are we doing guests? Is that a thing? I, I, I didn't know. Wow, <laughs> He's okay. so Freddy cute. was right. As if there was any doubt. My old friend, this is Grace. She is our muse from the line of Calliope, and it is she who asked for you. I'm here on behalf of Pan. He owes you a favor, 
Something to do with... No, shit, not Pan. I never heard of him. <laughs> so, Asterion, of course you know Pan. No, nah, no idea what he'd want. No, sir, no favours. Uh -huh. Nah, not this mine at all. There you have it, Grace. I believe now is the time when you leave. But <laughs> there must be some mistake. There is no mistake. Wait a not minute. this time. Oh, please, please say, it is written. It is written. Did you hear that? Pan sends me all this way and Asterion won't even talk to us? Maybe there's another Asterion? Yeah, more likely Pan's got me chasing my tail. This was pointless. Well, I don't think we're getting back inside. Do you have another plan? Um... Yeah? I don't know if my powers will even work on Hecate, but it's worth a shot. Ooh, a musical number. Do you think this one could be... Uh, do you hear what I'm hearing? <laughs> oh, 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 you still here? I had to run the entire... Oh, that's a long way, isn't it? <sighs> okay. Does he love Hecate? I'm so sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to send you away, all right? I, I just couldn't tell you. Not in front of Kate. Oh. Kate? You don't mean... Oh, that is so cute. I heard what you said about Calliope. I can help you. I really, really can. It, it has to be you. I am so in love with my dear sweet Kate. I, I, I just don't know how to tell her. Please help me tell her. Let me get this straight. You're in love with Hecate. That Hecate. Oh, mate, Kate is... She, she's just the best. Like, she knows everything, and she always smells so good. Like, she's <laughs> so nice so to me, cute. and she doesn't even have to be. And we got stuck in the tower together because we can't live in the mortal world. I know Aww. I could make her happy. I, I, I want to try. Oh, won't you help me? Do you really call Hecate Kate? Off topic, I know, but I, I have to ask. Well, sometimes she has to go into the mortal world for a short time and do things for Athena. Uh-huh. And... Well, she had to make up a magic disguise, you know, a new identity. And I, uh... I thought she should give it a proper name. And you suggested Kate? Yeah, she really liked it. She said, Thank you, Asterion. <sighs> <laughs> Are you really the Minotaur? Like, the monster who roamed a maze and ate people? And is supposed to be dead? Uh, well, my father locked me up in a labyrinth, but I never ate anyone. Oh, well, that's good. Except Theseus. But he, he was a bellend. <laughs> Have you tried, oh, I don't know, talking to her about how you feel? <laughs> I take that as a no. I don't have the words. I've tried. Every time, I end up knocking over a table, or killing a cat, oh. or talking about how sometimes meat has that grisly texture I don't like. You killed her cat? Oh, no. It was a small cat. I panicked. I'm just not good at words. Right? Really not good. Okay, so you're in love with Hecate. <sighs> what is it you think I can do? A muse knows about poetry and, and the heart and, and how to make words beautiful. All I want is to ask her, but I need good words. You know, please, please say you'll help me. This is so cute. Hecate might say no. You know that, right? <laughs> well, she probably will. I mean, she's Kate. And I'm me. But just once... I'd like to be able to ask her, you know, to, to say it out loud instead of thinking it. That's really I'll noble. still help you, no matter what she says. I promise. I don't know. Doesn't this feel a little weird? Which part? Helping him woo her with my powers. You heard what Pan said. You can't make anyone do anything they don't want to do. You can only make them say what's in their heart. It's true. Yeah, that's the part I can't do. 
I do this and you'll help me in return, right? Athena made Kate swear. She's not allowed to say anything about what happens at the tower. But she never made me swear. Maybe she never thought anyone would ask. But I'll tell you. Even if Kate doesn't like it, I'll tell you. I if I do this first. I, I, I believe If them. you help me, any trouble Let's will be them. worth it. I can't say I'm exactly sure what to do. Can't you just, you know, start the music? Yeah, but to do what? Oh, oh. Oh, leave that to me. I am so excited about this, I can't even stand it. <sighs> what Freddy's exactly so did you have in mind, Freddy? I'll set up a vibe and you go for it. I'm not great at words, I'm, I'm more of a dancer. Just speak from the heart, be honest. You can do it. You cast a spell on me. Not literally, <laughs> obviously. But I feel in summary, you and me are meant to be. Cause you put a hex on me. You didn't do it to me directly. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not blaming it. you specifically. Just the metaphorically shit. Can someone help me? I love it. You got this. Don't lose your nerve. I'm too excited, it's hard to describe I got a bull in a china shop vibe Just breathe and take it slowly Tell her you love her only and she can I'm thinking out loud, aren't I? It's okay, just tell her what you want You rock my world and I'm telling you, Kate You already know I'm the perfect housemate I've never been wary Cause nothing is scary I'm big this and I'm so hairy cute. And my head is on straight Once comes this confession, surely you know I know so little of feeling. I've been so alone. It's all that I've known. This idea you want more has left me quite reeling. What do now? Uh, chorus. You've cast a spell on me. It's a feeling that's killing me. But let's say categorically. Oh, Katie, it's just you and me. You do great. Give it some confidence. I know I'm ugly and hard to ignore. I'm glad you're not the type to crave a centaur. I know you want something different in someone significant, but you just so magnificent, I can't take it no more. Okay. Since that you claim set my interest aflame. Since you say that you know what I want, please advise. Cause I've never known. I feel my heart is stone. If I perish alone, I shan't be surprised. Oh. Hey, you don't have to die alone. We all die alone, Asteria. You have to convince her. Hecate, you've cast a spell on me And I'm ashamed of what your magic has done to me I could have kept oh, my mouth shut no now rhythm. it's agony And you've gone all weird And that's what I feared Someone please rescue me Freddy, you gotta step in Me? Yeah, you're just as qualified as I am Hecate I'd say he's really put himself out there. Yes! Now he cannot undo. It's a brave thing to do. Wish I had his daring. Well, I'm saying that I've missed out before. Last chances rushed out that exit door. I could never let my heart be heard. And it's withering. Now I'm reconsidering. Always counted on you to speak to me honestly. 
You're at my beck and call I've never thanked you at all And yet you still love me I let travelers know which way to go But it bothers me My own path I forego Always seemed apropos Yet where has this led me? Maybe one step across the line Will weave its own spell in given time The thought with which I must contend Is can I love my best friend? Yes! yes. Just decide! this way the entire time, Asterion, and you said nothing? I didn't think I was worthy. I mean, look at me. I'm only, you know, half a man. You have been a devoted friend over the long and lonely years, Asterion. I only wish I had realized sooner we could have been more. As for you, Grace, I thank you for arranging this diversion, however it came to pass. I, I don't get it. Didn't you know this would happen? Wasn't it written? Of course it was. It was also written that I would be unaware of Asterion's feelings until he spoke them to me. But you knew that. I follow the rules. It is written. Okay. <laughs> you know, there is a way to repay me. I still need to find out who killed Calliope. I fear I am oath-sworn to discuss no matters that occur within these halls. But all I need is- If there are revelations from my investigation into the abnormality, you shall be informed. Come, Asterion. I wish to speak of this further. And find an appropriate outfit. Uh, okay. Hey, Go off, for me sis. outside, yeah? It's gonna be a long while there, babe. How long are we supposed to wait? It's been over an hour. Yep. I'm sure it's fine, Grace. I doubt the Minotaur would break his promise. <sighs> Say, when I tell you. <sighs> you still here? I'm sorry. Kate had a lot to say. <sighs> Everything's okay, I hope? <sighs> Oh, yeah. Oh, it was so wonderful. Kate just wanted to talk about you know, feelings and that, which, uh, well, neither of us are good at. Right, so, uh, I suppose you want to know how Calliope broke into the reliquary that night. She did what? What? No, uh, we didn't know anything about that. Do you mean the night she died? Oh, well, I, I, I thought you already knew. Uh, yeah, the, the night Calliope died, she, she broke in somehow. Thing is, we know she didn't take anything or even touch anything. I just remember the alarms, and I chased after her. Huh. How do you know Calliope didn't touch or take anything? Kate knows everything in the reliquary, right down to the last book. She's been looking, but she can't figure if anything was touched. It makes her so mad not to know. And it made Athena pretty mad too. Athena got involved? 
Yeah, when Kate finally told her, Athena wants Kate to keep investigating, but it doesn't look good. You chased Calliope, but did you ever catch up with her? Uh, no. If I'd have caught her, I'd have brought her back and Kate would have gotten answers out of her. All I know is, is that she was hurt, uh, bleeding bad, but I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I wanted to help her, but she got away in the fog. Then I ran into Medusa. Wait, what? Medusa? Here? Yeah. Well, she's not normally here. I think maybe she was chasing after Calliope too. Oh. How could Calliope have been wounded? I don't know. Maybe Medusa did it. Probably not, though. You know, I never saw Medusa near the reliquary, just out in the fog, so she never even got that close. So whatever happened to Calliope happened inside the reliquary? I guess. But we don't have anything that would attack anyone. Especially not an idol. So someone else. But they did it inside the reliquary. If so, they vanished after. Uh -huh. Did you say the reliquary has alarms? Like burglar alarms, cameras? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. It just has a lot of protections. You know, magic. I don't know magic, actually. Oh, uh, well, it's just meant to keep the dangerous stuff from being touched. It was set off, so something happened in the reliquary. We just, uh, don't know what exactly. Mm. Those alarms don't go off if someone breaks into the reliquary? They don't <laughs> detect intruders? Well, uh, normally nobody does that. Well, Calliope did. She got in somehow. Well, she must have snuck in the back way. Where do you think I keep running from? Whatever Calliope did here, it was enough to set off the alarms. That's all I know. Okay. What relics are there? Maybe Calliope was looking for one, but couldn't find it before... Yeah, that I'm not supposed to say. Do you have the Golden Fleece, the Shield of Zeus, the Sword of Damocles? Is it suspended? Uh, you know a lot about that stuff for a mortal. So it's all real? I can neither confirm nor deny any of that. <laughs> all I know is that nothing got used and nothing got taken. Okay. What was Medusa doing here? She was chasing after Calliope too, I think, but she wouldn't say why. I asked. Seems pretty convenient, her just out there suddenly. Yeah, that part's weird. I've never seen her near the reliquary before. Couldn't Medusa have broken in like Calliope did? Yeah, but I chased Calliope from the reliquary. If Medusa had been there, I would have seen her. Mm. Athena knows what happened here the night Calliope died? Yeah, Kate told her a day or so later, I think. We didn't know Calliope died that night, though. What? Athena didn't mention it? Nope. Not that that's weird. She's, uh, well, she's not the chatty type, you know? She came in all quiet and cool, wanted to know who was here that night and what Calliope might have wanted. She swore Kate to silence. Not me, though. Guess she's not as smart as Kate. Mm. This means Calliope came here the night she died. This is where she was attacked. But we don't know by whom. We know Medusa was here. She might even have been involved. Well, she's super scary, but, uh, you know she works for Athena, right? I thought maybe that's why she was here, but Athena said she didn't know about it. <sighs> that does seem suspicious. If that's all you need, then I have to go. Kate will be so mad if she finds me gone. <sighs> Good luck, Muse. Thanks. You okay there, friendo? I just... can't help but feel like I'm missing something right in front of me. How so? Calliope came here for a reason. Why? Someone has to know because they knew she was here. True. And Athena knows what went down here. She can't honestly still think it was me, can't she? One thing at a time, Grace. You'll figure it out. I know you will. I guess so. Next thing is to go back to Pan. Tell him his favor is done. <sighs> what an adventure. Sorry? You're just lucky, Grace. Luckier than you think. You go do what you have to, and I'll meet you back at the apartment, okay? Mm -hmm. Pan! <sighs> I 
hope you're here, because I don't know where else to look for you. Of course I'm here, Grace. Where else would I be but amongst the trees and the wild things? I really must thank you, by the by. Asterion is simply over the moon, and he's already repaid me with this select tome from the reliquary. That's why you did all this? Because you wanted some book? Not just some book, but a tome from the Forbidden Depths. <sighs> I doubt Hecate would be pleased. Oh, most assuredly not. Neither would Athena, which makes it all the more delicious. I trust you got what you needed? More grist for the mill of your innocence, as it were? You already knew I would, right? Oh? Did I? Come on, Pan. How stupid do you think I am? The place you sent me for this favor just happens to be where Calliope was attacked. You had to know I'd discover that. If you wanted me to know, why not just tell me? What's the angle? Tell me why I shouldn't be suspicious, Pan. You have no reason to be suspicious. I know nothing of what happened to Calliope at the reliquary. I suppose the question at the heart of this is, do you believe me? I'm trying to, Pan, but you make this really hard. Ah, yes. Doubt. What a fascinating concept, and an excellent reason to hesitate. Alas, it is my burden to be forever condemned by my idle brethren. I've become accustomed to it. Truly. I've never lied to you, Grace. And I never shall. If you're looking for innocence, however, <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's one thing I cannot provide. Mm, and if I can't accept that? If I find out you're somehow involved in this? You'll do what you do, and I'll do what I do, and we'll see where that takes us. Fair enough. If you're still up for trading favors, I could use more help. Oh, of course you could. You could live the high life, Grace. Throw caution to the wind. Embrace what you can before you... Uh, uh. Before I die? You don't have any hope for me, do you? You're just taking what you can get before it's over. Yo. You'll want to find Medusa. I suppose. She was at the reliquary, but you already knew that. You'll find Medusa at a dingy little club appropriately named the Viper's Nest. Give her my regards. But do be careful if you call on her grace. Medusa is a hideous monster and should be treated as such. Ooh, they've got some history. That's saucy. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. 